Jaya Gopi Janavalabha Giri Varadhari Jaya Gopi Janavalabha Giri Varadhari Yashodanandana Vraja Janaranjana Yashodanandana Vraja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Yamunati Ravanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Biha Hari Jaya Gopi Janavala Bhagiri Varadhari Yashodanandana Vraja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vannachari Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shihirare Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shirahare Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shirahare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Oh. Uh-huh.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shri Radhe Nitai Gora Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gora Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gora Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gora Hari Bol Jaya Jaya Prabhupada 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 Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Prabhupada 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 Jaya Shila Prabhupada Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitai Gauda Pemanande. Thank you, bro. Okay. So, Hare Krishna, dear devotees, and thank you all for attending this uh, Bhagavad Gita class in the evening. Uh, we have very special guests from Slovenia. The yeah, Slovenian devotees, Ki! Jai! Yeah, thank you very much for coming. You came just at the right time. Yeah, we had a, uh, we have a big weekend before us with uh, the Yuga Dharma, Harinam Sankirtan. And I also welcome uh, our, our guests here. Hare Krishna, where are you from? From Nuremberg. 
<laughs> you just came for today or you stay over the weekend? Okay. Nice to have you very much. Hey, Hare Krishna. Yeah, I will speak today in English. I hope it's okay. Uh, yeah, uh, normally or sometimes we have a verse on the cupboard, this time not, so I will chant accordingly. And we read from the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. We are in the 18th chapter. Conclusion, the perfection of renunciation. And we speak today on the verse 64. Sarva guya tamang bhuya shrinu me paramang vachaha ishto si me dridham iti tato vakshyami te hitam <coughs> And I forgot to chant the prayers, you can follow me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Again the verse Sarva Guya Tamang Bhuya Shrinu Me Paramang Vachaha Ishto Sime Dritham Iti Tato Vakshyami Te Hitam So word for word translation you can follow me Sarva Guyatamam, the most confidential. Bhuyaha, again. Shrinu, just here. Me, from me. Paramam, the supreme. Vachaha, instruction. Ishta Asi. You are very dear to me. Me, of me. Dridham, very. Iti, thus. Tataha, therefore. Vakshyami, speaking. Te, for your. Hitam, benefit. So, translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai! Jai. Okay. Because you are my very dear friend, I am speaking to you the most confidential part of knowledge. Hear this from me, for it is for your benefit. The Lord has given Arjuna confidential knowledge of the super soul within everyone's heart. And now he is giving the most confidential part of this knowledge. Just surrender unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead. At the end of the ninth chapter he has said, Just always think of me. The same instruction is repeated here to stress the essence of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. This essence is not understood by a common man, but by one who is actually very dear to Krishna, a pure devotee of Krishna. This is the most important instruction in all Vedic literature. What Krishna is saying in this connection is the most essential part of knowledge and it should be carried out not only by Arjuna, but by all living entities. Om Ajnana Timarandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manopishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopeka Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute 
Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Vrad Hevindavaneshwari Vrishabanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Pri Vanshakalpa Tarubyas Cha Kripasindubya Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Garadhara Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Virinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Ja yeah. Um, so I feel very fortunate today that uh, um, Krishna gave me the opportunity to speak to you today. But uh, I need your blessings. Um, I'm a very, since not a long time, I'm a devotee and I need all your blessings that something useful is coming over my lips for you today. And um, not only that uh, this is a very nice um, point we are here in the Bhagavad Gita also this is a very auspicious evening just before the very fired up ev uh, uh, weekend coming before us every for us all and uh, so I meditated uh, since two days a little bit uh, what I wanted to say uh, regarding this verse and I plan also to digest a little bit with you together some of uh, my experiences when I was in Vrindavan uh, a couple of days ago um, where we had uh, very much um, association of Prithu Prabhu maybe some of you know him uh, we were fortunate enough to live at his place and he's a very senior devotee a disciple of Srila Prabhupada and he gave us a lot of guidance and uh, also very nice input regarding Krishna conscious philosophy but uh, especially uh, the Yuga Dharma and uh, more especially book distribution and um, yeah I speak again the verse because you are my very dear friend I am speaking to you the most confidential part of knowledge hear this from me for it is for your benefit. Yeah. Yeah, so we are just right before very two very essential uh, verses in the Bhagavad Gita. And I'm sure uh, some of you will, uh, will know them probably by heart. It's the one, always think of me and become my devotee. Yeah, this Manmana Bhava Matbakto, which Srila Prabhupada is also referring to in the purport just always think of me which is repeated also in the ninth chapter and uh, it's even written here in Simhachalam in the stone uh, right at the beginning from the stairs at the left side we have this uh, particular verse uh, carved in stone because it's so important and I have to say when I started reading Bhagavad Gita it really took my attraction yeah why is this repeated yeah I, I found immediately, ah, I heard this before, this is a verse is repeating. So, uh, whatever is repeated is very important, isn't it? So, um, yeah, and just the next one, Sarva dharman parityachya mamekam sharanam raja ahang tvang sarva pape vyo moksha yishyami mashuchaha Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reaction. Do not fear. Yeah, so this verse we, are, we read today is referring to this uh, most confidential part of the Bhagavad Gita, like the conclusion verses summarizing all the content and all the uh, explanations before given in a very simple instruction. Yeah. Uh, trust me, believe me, I am your friend, yeah, I'm uh, your only friend, I'm the highest friend, I'm the, um, your shelter. If you surrender unto me, I will deliver you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. And what do we have to do? 
yeah, we have to engage ourselves. Yeah, bhakti amam abhijana ti yavan yashchas mitatvataha. We can understand Krishna only through devotional service. Yeah, so if we engage our senses in the service of the Lord. And this becomes quite easy when we uh, focus on the mind because uh, all our senses, yeah, like uh, hearing, um, seeing, smelling and so on, are grouped about the mind. We have this very uh, famous picture in the Bhagavad Gita with the horses yeah, and the, the chain um, pulling the horses is uh, in the metaphor like compared to the mind. Yeah, so if we just put Krishna in the center of our mind, in our meditation, uh, then it comes easy uh, to engage ourselves in the service of the Lord, not to uh, engage in sinful uh, uh, activities, not to divert, to forget, being forgetful, or uh, neglectful. Yeah. And we have the word of Krishna. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. And he promises furthermore, thus you will come to me without fail. If you worship me and offer your homage unto me. Yeah, and this is so important that it's uh, repeated two times. And Srila Prabhupada also stresses in the in the purport that this is the essence of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. Yeah, so it's a very essential part. But uh, we all know it's not uh, that easy, even when it is, uh, if we read it, it seems quite easy. But uh, surrendering is a process, yeah, f especially for, uh, for the devotees who are practicing since some time. Everyone can tell from his or own her uh, experience that this demands a lot of effort and constant, um, constant uh, reminds, constant reflection. Yeah, where where am I in this process? Am I really so Krishna conscious, or am I, uh, yeah, in outward consciousness, thinking of the, yeah so many distractions that can overwhelm us and uh, Krishna gave us the the perfect method how we can do this very easily by the Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan and it's very interesting that uh, in this verse uh, Harinam 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 Eva Kevalam Nastyeva 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 Gatir Anyata yeah, there it's even repeated three times that there is no other way, no other way, no other way than in chanting the Lord's names. And uh, yeah, here we see that uh, if the Lord or Srila Prabhupada is repeating something and we take this to our heart, then we can be sure that we are in the, in the right direction. And especially with the Yuga Dharm, we got such an easy process where uh, by a very joyfully method, yeah, we were just experiencing all together in the Gaura Arati going on here. Yeah, and uh, now when we were singing right before the lecture, it's very joyful, it's happy. Yeah? It's not a big austerity. Yeah? When I was in Vrindavan, I heard again and again, we have such an easy process. Yeah? It's just chanting, dancing, feasting and repeat. And uh, even nowadays, it has become a fashion to do so many other things rather than chanting, dancing and feasting. In former times, at the beginning, uh, we had much association also with Jananda Maharaj. And he told uh, some Leelas when they were emerged, yeah, like every day was a festival. Every day was an occasion to celebrate the appearance or disappearance of an Acharya or uh, uh, they went out on Harinam and they come back and it was a huge feast. Yeah, so Krishna consciousness is a party. And uh, we also s found something very uh, interesting on a Govardhan Parikram. 
Uh, yeah, it's a very holy mountain, and there are uh, very, very deep uh, stories of Krishna in the Krishna book and the Srimad Bhagavatam referring to that mountain. Some of you may know, others not, but uh, many, many devotees make pilgrimage to that place and do heavy austerities. Yeah, there were some men doing a Dandavat Parikram. So they did a whole Dandavat on the ground and uh, some o not only do it once and then continue, no, they have it with 108 stones. Yeah, so they have 108 stones and they make one Danda and put one stone in their hope for liberation, for purification, for more devotion, yeah, for more connection maybe, or for some material um, benefit, maybe coming to the heavenly planets or something. But there are people doing this, and some people said they need 20 years to go one time around the Govardhan. Two. You heard two. Okay. Okay, two. Yeah, two. Okay, also he heavy austerity. Yeah, and uh, so I was exaggerating, sorry, <laughs> it's just a friend told me. Yeah, but uh, imagine, you know, like uh, what's whatever benefit this person gets uh, compared to this method of Harinam Sankirtan, even in this lifetime we experience so much bliss, so much nectar, yeah, so much uh, unity in diversity, uh, which is already to be found in the spiritual world. But uh, it, it seems like the Hare Krishna mantra and this chanting, dancing, feasting is pulling this uh, realm of the spiritual sky already uh, down here in this material atmosphere. Yeah, and but nevertheless, I, uh, since I'm a devotee, I also experience a lot how, um, how maya or the material energy is uh, stopping us from doing this very simple uh, process. Yeah? Even though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave us so much mercy and so much such a simple thing, even a child can dance and uh, chant. Yeah? Uh, for our complicated minds, this is also not heavy to follow. And when we organize a Harinam or when we uh, plan to go on book distribution, there are so many excuses, so many um, yeah, different agendas, different uh, ideas of becoming happy or becoming Krishna conscious or um, yeah, trying to get some nectar, trying to get some satisfaction. And it's very easy to gather the crowd. But when it's done, yeah, when we return from the Harinam, Everyone is in bliss, everyone is happy, and everyone is thinking, why don't we do that more often, isn't it? Yeah, so um, I wanted to share a little story with you that was very, very um, yeah, enthusing for me. Uh, this I also wanted to share with you. I put here a, a nice picture of uh, uh, Krishna. We also went to a Samadhi ceremony of His Holiness Kadamba Kanana Swami and uh, this was a picture he was looking at when he made Japa. So uh, in, the, in the mind of uh, always think of Krishna, I wanted to put it here, that you also have some, uh <laughs> yeah, some nice uh, to look at while I'm speaking. And uh, I had a very personal experience where one very good friend from me approached me um, and was telling me that uh, he was about to leave his um, his kshetra, so his place where he was performing devotional service for the sake of his guru. Uh, he, w he is a great book distributor and he was uh, very much engaged in the uh, yatra there. And um, But he was very much suffering from, in his eyes, to less association with other brahmacharis and uh, uh, the material energy was pushing him a lot, like uh, he found so much lust inside of him himself and uh, without talking to his Guru Maharaj, he decided by him own, 
by reflecting that the great Acharyas like Prabhupada or Bhakti Siddhanta, before they started their mission, um, they went into themselves and they purified themselves by, uh, s for example, Bhakti Siddhanta doing a lot of japa meditation, yeah, Srila Prabhupada reading a lot, studying, translating before he started his mission. And he thought by himself, oh, this is too heavy, I have to struggle too much with my inner, yeah, my inner thematics. Um, I would be better at a place, uh, and now he wants to be at the Govardhan Eco Village. And this is a very remote place, many, many brahmacharis, not many matajis. Um, but it, is, it, w it came from his own um, cocotion. And he said that to me, and it brought me, uh, I came to thought about it. And I was also doubting, because I also have to struggle a lot. It's not easy living in Germany, yeah. Uh, Vedic culture is not uh, much established here, yeah, so uh, uh, women and men are very much uh, mixing. When we go in the streets, in the cities, uh, so many uh, uh, yeah, sinful um, activities going on and sometimes it's not easy to, to withdraw from that, yeah, G you get sucked in or you... Uh, your mind keeps something and I thought yeah maybe this is a good idea if you want to be serious about going back to Godhead to go to a remote place and to to really get fixed and then I went back to Prithu Prabhu and I was uh, reflecting with him I told him what happened and I told him the story and he said no 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 forget this he's bewildered yeah it's much better to follow the instructions of your spiritual master. Just by following your spiritual master and being engaged in his mission, the mission of Srila Prabhupada and the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you will be uh, sheltered. And this is also something I'm experiencing a lot. When I'm heavily engaged in, in uh, preaching, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm really sheltered. And I'm the worries move, yeah. Uh, when, and especially book distribution is like forced surrender, yeah, because you have to think of Krishna, you have to uh, talk about Krishna, you have to present Krishna. So Krishna is always present, and this is very purifying. And to underline uh, this statement, uh, he read a story f uh, for me. And this story I want to share with you, because it's very, very special. And then from all directions in Vrindavan came this story, and it was shared all above. Yeah. So, uh, it's a story from a, a Mataji book distributor. Srila Prabhupada once said, I will see to it that those who will distribute my books will be taken out of this world. Sometimes he would say, I will ask Bhaktivinoda Thakur to come at the time of death for those who will distribute my books. Even so, I will tell a story told to me by Radha Kund Mataji, a disciple of Prabhupada from Vrindavan. She is a legendary book distributor. How many years she has been in Krishna consciousness? 45 or 48? All these years she has been distributing books until now. When she comes to Srila Prabhupada's Samadhi, she brings books in Hindi, Bengali, and just distributes them. And she always has a blissful smile on her face. She told me the following story. All my life, consciously or unconsciously, I have been trying to distribute Prabhupada's books. I had cancer. Through distributing books it went away. I had a husband who used to beat me. But I distributed books and those hardships passed. He had many children who abandoned him, 
but I continued to distribute books and I have no regrets. I haven't lost anything, but you know, living here in Vrindavan for the last few years, I started listening to something different. One day I went to Radhakund and met an amazing Babaji. When he spoke, something happened in my heart and I felt that this is really a holy man. I paid my respects to him and he started giving me instructions and said, Do you want to receive the mercy of Srimati Radharani? Of course I do! Then come every day to Radhakund, I will give you a mantra. Repeat this mantra. One day Srimati Radharani's mercy will be showered on you. And you know, I was so stupid and, and I said, okay. He gave me the mantra and I started repeating and I started coming to Radhakund every day. Stopped distributing Prabhupada's books. And you know what happened next? And then Srila Prabhupada came to me in a dream, looked at me with a very strict look, took my hand and said, let's go. And I was all squeezed and we went with him. I see Vrindavan. He takes me out of Krishna Balaram Mandir, leads me further. Here is Govardhan and we are already on Radhakund, but Prabhupada does not stop. We enter the waters of Radhakund and go to the very depth of Radhakund. Go to the very bottom, to the very heart of Radhakund. I see an amazing picture. Srila Prabhupada is standing there at a huge table. And on the table there are millions of his books in different languages. And there are millions of groaning, suffering souls with their hands outstretched and shouting, Me! Me! Srila Prabhupada is standing and single-handedly distributing hundreds and thousands of his books. And everyone who receives stops moaning, takes spiritual form and leaves this world. And I am standing there looking at all this and I am getting chills. Then I am shaking. Srila Prabhupada looked at me with a stern look. What are you standing? How long are you going to stand? When are you going to start helping me to distribute books? Fool! How can you not realize that distributing my books is the very heart of Radhakund? This is what the heart of Srimati Radharani lives by. If you really want to receive Srimati Radharani's mercy, distribute my books until your last breath. I woke up all in tears and I didn't go to Radhakund again. And I didn't repeat the mantra again. I just decided that for the rest of my life, for the last breath, I will distribute Srila Prabhupada's books. This is from Vidyanidhi Prabhu's lecture, Prabhupada's pastimes. Yeah, so... Um, um, yeah, I, I also just try to follow and try to... Uh, experience what we hear every day in the Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita lecture in the books of Srila Prabhupada and to some extents, extents I can realize the mercy flowing like the, the amazing gift of Srila Prabhupada the, the effect on the people in general like the reactions of the people when they, uh, when they get books when they see us doing Harinam yeah, when they become in contact again with Krishna and yeah, I, I hope this just continues and that my um, little baby steps in this uh, regard will continue and that all of you keep inspired doing that uh, you keep together as a team inspire each other in going out in uh, yeah overcoming the yeah the obstacles that mostly are um, coming from our own mind uh, to do some little austerity for Krishna which 
in actuality uh, will be hundreds and thousands of times rewarded if we do it. Yeah, everyone has enough experiences, whoever went on Harinam, whoever distributed a book, what uh, nectar and bliss, what uh, gratitude and happiness uh, lead out of that. And yeah, please go on more and more. And I'm, I'm very glad and happy that you came to Simhachalam, that we can have all of our association here and uh, yeah, can serve in this amazing mission of Srila Prabhupada and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, after maybe someone gave a question or a comment, uh, I brought some pictures of Srila Prabhupada from Prabhupada's house in Vrindavan. It's very nice pictures of him and everyone who wants one can get one. Uh, before I left uh, Germany, I also uh, laminated some very nice Krishna pictures. So if someone eager to have one of that, he is also very, uh, very welcome to get one or two or even more to have as a reading sign or something. I found it very nice and uh, pleasing to remember Krishna. So everyone has a special relationship with Krishna and maybe attracted to some Leela, uh, very different ones. So uh, if we finished, you can all come and uh, choose if you like. And now I would leave a little bit space if you have a, a question or a comment. You are very welcome to share also something maybe from your own experience in the Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan. Prabhu, you want to give him a microphone? No, no, it's okay, it's fine, thank you. No, well, really, it's not, I mean, it's not that big, I, I can ask like this. The so thing is, we have an online uh, yeah, it's no, it public. Yeah, it's not, I don't want mm -hmm. to be online. This okay, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Prabhu. Uh, yeah. This verse we have been, uh, that is the topic actually. Hmm? Oh, I read it. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. It was quite short, like this. Okay. No, I, did, I didn't get it. Okay. Shall I read it again? Yes. Okay, it's okay. So, purport from His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Uh, the Lord has given Arjuna confidential knowledge of the super soul within everyone's heart. And now he is giving the most confidential part of this knowledge just surrender unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead. At the end of the ninth chapter, he has said, Just always think of me. The same instruction is repeated here to stress the essence of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. This essence is not understood by a common man, but by one who is actually very dear to Krishna, a pure devotee of Krishna. This is the most important instruction in all Vedic literature. What Krishna is saying in this connection is the most essential part of knowledge and it should be carried out not only by Arjun but by all living entities. Welcome. No, I, I, I no problem, Prabhu. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> that's 15-15. You can, yeah. okay. Something else? Brian Prabhu? Um, no, I was reflecting on this very beautiful purport and because yesterday I had the, the verse, the one before, and I was thinking that in um, the verse before Krishna is saying to Arjun, just deliberate uh, fully and, and then do what you wish to do. But then now is, you know, like, no, 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 but please li listen to me again, you know. So first of all, he says, no, just now think about it. I gave you the whole 42 minutes of, of Bhagavad Gita. But yet it's like so eager to really tell him what is the, the real essence, the, the most confidential knowledge. So uh, it seems like a very sweet kind of interaction. Yeah. And I uh, wanted to hear if you can speak on it uh, also. Yeah, it seems like Krishna is a very good friend. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What could I say about it? Um. 
Yeah, for me, this uh, shows very nicely that uh, we have our minute independence, our free will. Yeah, that uh, even Krishna is so merciful to us and we can have so much uh, mercy and devotee association and happiness. Even though we are not 100% doing book distribution or going out on Harinam Sankirtan. Yeah, so... Um, Krishna wants us back even more than than we do and this is something poof I just wish to realize more and more because I'm so covered and dull that I don't even realize often how much Krishna loves me and I think he has so many um, expectations on me and uh, maybe thinks I am so much in debt but uh, also today I, I read a different story and it was so much expressed the how merciful Krishna is that he sees so little kind of attraction and devotion to him, some little service and he's so pleased and he will never forget it. Yeah, like the the process is unstoppable, yeah, from this little tiny um uh service. So this um uh, so sometimes it also becomes forgettable how can chanting in the street or giving someone a book has such a great influence on someone's life. But uh, if we ask the devotees, like, what is your story? How did you came to Krishna consciousness? And that, then we realize how much uh, mercy is through these little moments when we came in contact of Krishna consciousness. And uh, the initial moment was just like a little little decision in ourselves <sighs> there must be something more i i want to connect to some spiritual yeah more more depth and krishna sees that and yeah as you said this uh, got revealed for example in this uh, occasion that even when he he gives him again this uh, uh, Free will, yeah? You can deliberate about it fully. Do it fully. You can decide what you want. But please, yeah, you know, like... Then you see, okay, why? God God has no... God has everything. He has unlimited potencies. He's all rich, all beautiful, all everything. But still, his devotee is so dear to him. Yeah, so... He's so kind, so merciful, and so so loving and yeah, I just hope for all of you and myself that we uh, experience this more and more and uh, we can be so happy that bhakti is not a dry thing but some th something very practical, experienceable that um, we have so many stepping stones on this uh, path of renunciation and uh, devotion and purification that Krishna gives us a lot of uh, magic moments which help us to realize this uh, this love and this uh, unlimited compassion and mercy towards us yeah that we are so fallen that we are so yeah so uh, so such rascals but still uh, we are here and he uses us as, as a tool that we can even give him to others, yeah, even though we are so imperfectly covered and yeah, have so many difficulties. Yeah. Maybe someone else has to share something else or re related to that. Okay, thank you. And then, then they can also listen what you are saying. Uh, the, you so know. when Prabhu was mentioning that Krishna is really eager to reveal to uh, um, his devotee this confidential knowledge. I was uh, immediately uh, um, remind, uh, reminded of that in some way Krishna and his devotees are not, um, there's no di dis distinction in some way. So, so we can see also devotees um, are really eager to reveal there, um, what they get from spiritual masters and Krishna, 
So you can see it on the street, they really want to share their hearts. Some people who don't know what, what's the motive behind, they can see it as that we are a little bit pushy sometimes, but devote, they really want to give because they know that these souls are co covered. They, they cannot understand immediately what's the purpose, but yeah, so you can, because I, I I, I see devotees don't uh, um, how to say the um, give up, give up uh, yeah give up just like that you know you, you have some devotees who really <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> exactly exactly so some devotees are really in this mood no please but please really at least you know <laughs> get something from uh, um, mm -hmm. from us so. It's nice to see it actually, because so yeah, I'm really eager for tomorrow to to share some yeah. what what we get from Shila Prabhupada. Thank you, Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Yeah, that was a very nice, uh, <laughs> very nice point. Yeah, also, a little point I want to add to that. Also, uh, Prince Prabhu was sharing something. Uh, some realization on the 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, 4th to 5th verse, where Krishna is saying that all these uh, um, qualities, like which are we are yearning from, for, you know, this uh, also compassion, yeah, um, love, uh, um, yeah, all these uh, qualities of a Brahman, yeah, you know, like purity, honesty, all this that this is actually coming from Krishna, from within. That if we attract the mercy from Krishna, Krishna will help to uncover that they are also in the morning lecture in Srimad Bhagavatam, we, we heard that this is already there in the soul. Yeah? That the soul is a part of Krishna. And that's only our natural, our, our material covering is uh, between that. Yeah? Also that you said that yeah, sometimes there may be some uh, mixed, uh, uh, how to say, motivation <laughs> to do it. But the underlying principle is love, is the tendency that you want to serve. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hare Krishna, thank you very much for a very nice class. And at this point of now Deep Chandra, like really, it's really struck my heart, like... <laughs> Like imagining, like you said, that Krishna is even more eager, like that giving us the most confidential knowledge. Sometimes I contemplate, like, you know, but how? Like I'm trying to do so hard, like, you know, of course he's giving, but from my perspective, it looks like opposite. But then hearing now Deep Chandra, I said, really, like, you know, like when we go out or like when we have like, um, private exchanges, really devotees are really open. They should really share like they are the most hidden gems. Mm -hmm. So it has to be <laughs> with Krishna the same. Eh? And then like hearing you uh, furthermore, like, you know, then I realized, but yes, we are hearing Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam daily. So maybe we just forget that <laughs> because we he hear the most confidential knowledge, daily basics, then sometimes we forget how confidential knowledge this is. Mm -hmm. So, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Something else? Okay. Guess this is. You have a question, Prabhu Hendrik? Sanjay Prabhu. Oh, Sanjay Prabhu. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Can you st uh, tell one story from book distribution? <laughs> Something. Something. Something more. Yes. Yeah, it's just the first thing that came to my comes to my mind is that, uh, um, yeah, when we were once, uh, uh, we have a traveling Sankirtan party, a van, a bus, and... Um, we were distributing in Tübingen, that's a very close town uh, where I was born, in Reutlingen, and we were distributing their books, and a couple of weeks later, uh, Mataji sent me a message and said, oh, you, gave, you were giving uh, my friend a Bhagavad Gita, and I also wanted. 
and then uh, okay nice and I, I prepared a, a nice package and I, I sent it to her and then uh, she said oh, I, I, I found out about chanting uh, where do I get this beats yeah and then I sent her a nice chapa bag and a chapa mala and everything and then um, then uh, she was uh, listening already she found out about the farm community then she was listening to lectures and sooner uh, she she wrote me she wants a Shimad Bhagavatam set yeah then uh, then uh, um, we had a program at my mom's place uh, and the day before we did Harinam and just by accident I didn't invite her she was passing and she met the Harinam and uh, she was crying a little bit she had such a hard day she was uh, working in some kind of um, with children I don't know the English words like a ch uh, children heart and uh, uh, yeah and she was uh, it was a tough day and then she saw us and wow it was so nice to meet you all and I was struggling so much and I was also doubting about Krishna and uh, all of that and I, d I didn't know how to proceed with uh, my spiritual endeavors and and then she met us doing the Harinam and then she was like wow and she wanted to stay and then we did Harinam together one hour and uh, then I invited her for the um, uh, Sunday program at my parents place and then she came there and then she was so grateful for everything and then a friend uh, drove her home and then she was even more grateful she had to she thought she would drive with the bus and then she decided to come here and I didn't even found out if she come during the time when um, when I was in Vrindavan because she planned to go here yeah and this uh, was just one story that came to my mind There's so many I'm sure you also have so many it's like it's something sometimes it's like daily routine and yeah books go out and you are not so aware like uh, like you forget how what this can mean this uh, you know like uh, giving a book to someone is changing the whole life even though they don't know yeah they make so much agyata sukriti even though they don't know they perform devotional service and this makes a whole turn in a jiva's life and so hard to realize that but uh, yeah it's so often that uh, at some very special meetings happen and maybe you also want to share one someone has a story here of you maybe or of Harinam something very special that happened Prabhu this story will not uh, <laughs> sound too harsh but yeah it's happy nice ending <laughs> So like uh, like uh, maybe two years ago, we visit my hometown. So we use, we go many times because it's not so big. So then like you know sometimes you hear from from the back from the side like hey Hare Krishna hey Hare Krishna you know like with not uh, like this uh, kind gentle uh, acknowledgement. Mm. And then I look from my shoulder and I saw one one man I knew from youth, like, you know, and he was, like, how to say, he was, like, a, a guy from the mafia, like, he became, like, you know, on this side, and years ago, like, maybe 20 years ago, when I still went out in these pubs, he was harassing one of my neighbors, and, like, I w tried to help him, and since then, I have, like, whenever I saw him from distance, I really have this problems with him you never I never never knew like how far with violence he, he will go no so like it was always behind maybe 15 20 years and now I see from the behind said my god like him again like you know even even today like you know and then like you know I made one two steps at my god like but I'm here in Haranam I will not run I will not hide and then just turn towards him and and then <laughs> 
walking towards him like he was a little bit maybe shocked like he didn't know what is going on and then uh, and then Krishna start helping me giving me intelligence and then I remember that before he became bad like we were uh, we were different schools but competing in different sports no? and then I said oh look look at my friend is there like you know you are really good in fo in soccer in football you know and then I start praising him you know and then at, at once he changed he changed face he changed the mood and uh, there was some friends of him I knew from a distance like you know these locals who are hanging around all the time looking for troubles looking to get some how to say under <laughs> money which is not so uh, pure and then like you know he became really proud and said look, look hear him like you know he knows like you know he was so happy <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole episode changed you know <laughs> and then one of those guys with him start looking my books now of course like you know I knew that I need to give everyone there was maybe three or four men I gave everyone uh, one book you know and then start looking books and then one of his friends he brought to him beyond birth and death <laughs> and he said look I showed you this book, look, there are pictures, you know, this is what you are doing, what you are doing, this is not good, you know, there is every action, there is reaction. I said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and then I start pulling, like, you know, they maybe like, you see these friends, they like books, you know, who can give some donation, and then, <laughs> believe it or not, nobody has money but him. <laughs> so then he paid for everyone one book. So mm -hmm. like from that, like, you know, I really felt like that, a huge burden, really huge burden, like, you know, that, that uh, some karma I had with him, like, you know, Krishna took, so, um. mm. <laughs> oh, nice. uh, uh. Someone else wants to share a story? Maybe you can share something. Uh, you said that you, we, you had lots of confidential uh, exchanges with Pirto Prabhu. You shared a really nice story, like <laughs> so many aspects. But uh, maybe if you remember something more. Yeah. Uh, he was very, very personal and it was very nice with him. And uh, um, yeah, actually, he was teaching me how to be more tolerant because we were the two of us in Vrindavan and uh, uh, so two brahmacharis from Simhachalam coming to him and uh, he was very much compassionate uh, towards my companion and very friendly to us both and very uh, open-hearted and... Um, yeah, he, he, he mirrored me actually how uh, impatient <laughs> and intolerant I can be often, but uh, in such a sweet way that was so nice how he uh, just took him as he as he was, and this was very uh, very nice to see. That uh, yeah, it it uh, even though a person may have shortcomings. Uh, it doesn't lead us anywhere when we follow the path of, of judging someone rather than uh, trying to uplift him and trying to be merciful and trying to love him and trying to to give him what he needs and just to forget about what maybe is not going so good and that was really like uh, um, that was very nourishing for me to experience that with him and he took a lot of care uh, uh, he always got from a, a servant like a, that uh, he had two servants and they both were from Africa so he just met him on his preaching and he invited him to follow and uh, they were telling me that uh, in ISKCON in, in, the, in the ashram in the Krishnam Balaram Mandir they felt the first time like fully accepted as a human yeah like really like yeah like really deep, ac deep accepted and loved and they have a very nice exchange, they care for him, bring him prasadam and there were also always some prasadam left and then we were feeding the monkeys so we were sitting like outside in some kind of cage and he was throwing chapati outside <laughs> and some fruits from the fridge and the, the monkeys were grabbing and uh, often we, we made chapati pizzas 
like put a chapati and then some tomatoes and then bake it with cheese. <laughs> that was really something. And uh, yeah, he was like such a Prabhupada man, you know, like such a preacher. Um, he's very deep rooted in that. And I guess he made a lot of realizations during his time because he was telling so many stories when he went to this, um, what is it called, this rainbow gatherings where people spiritually inclined go there and have some kind of rituals or all kinds of stuff. And he went there and he was telling that he regularly came back with six, seven, eight people from there and he shaved them up, convinced them to be. And um, he was just telling that he was like playing some kind of uh, um, game with them, like... Uh, asking them about their situation, about their life conditions and uh, uh, about their sufferings because honestly everybody is suffering in the material world and then he's, uh, he's inviting and he's, he's giving love and he's so expert in that and I, I really felt like uh, this was not upcoming when I was here in the temple but due to his association I felt like okay all of this is nice, Harinam and book distribution but really to make devotees you know like and to to be ready to live with them yeah so we just we had a very nice encounter here in Simhachalam I met him here and there but then I wrote him I want to live at your ashram but then he even let us live in his room yeah <laughs> he was sleeping below his feet yeah and he says all his life he, he was not alone he had always people around him you know, and this is so, you can, outwardly, you can sit on the Vyasasan, give a nice lecture, you know, or go alone out and distribute books, or be in the Harinam, but uh, ready to share your whole life with people, uh, yeah, and uh, this is something, you know, like, uh, this is a real friend, and uh, when I was, uh, I had a food poisoning, and he, he's a very old man, he needs a lot of help, you know, like cleaning and prasadam and he's so organized in his uh, shortcomings, like uh, from the age, like how to sleep, yeah, it's a whole structure <laughs> and everything. And he has different gadgets <laughs> to survive during the day. But uh, I was so heavily uh, vomiting and passing stool that I completely dried out, I lost so much fluid in a, in a very small time that I got dehydrated. I had even crumbles in my legs. I was too weak to move even. I couldn't drink because I immediately w would vomit it out. And then uh, he was aware and awake enough. Uh, he managed, he called different doctors and he, he was, um, he was uh, uh, managing that two uh, other brahmacharis would come into the room pick me up and bring me to the next rick rickshaw to drive to the hospital. And he was also coming with us in the rickshaw. And he was sitting there one and a half hours in the hospital and taking care that I get a nice uh, medication and everything. Yeah, so it's not something that is, uh, you know, that we speak about or we reflect a little bit in the lecture. It, it felt like he's really like embodying it, you know, not really only in words, but he he's a very very nice friend and um yeah that was really like something and also something i was uh, yeah i had the desire to experience that in 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 india i didn't want to because last time i was in some kind of hotel somewhere it was so impersonal and yeah so i can really recommend to uh, have association with the vaishnavas at the holy places because yeah they there's so a nice exchange, you know, and much more abandoned. You can make Harinam together. Yeah, we also had nice kirtans together, and he knows so nice tunes. So we can um, uh, we can have so much benefit from senior Vaishnavas. Yeah, they can teach us so much on our way. Uh, like all the things we are struggling with, they went through. Yeah. Also, so much he was telling about uh, uh, Vaishnava etiquette and uh, the situation with uh, Matajis and Prabhus in the in Iskon, yeah, like uh, 
uh, yeah, he was telling me from his own experiences from having a wife uh, 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 how the situation should be in marriage, like the position of a man, position of a woman, that it really works. And this was really like eye-opening for me. And yeah, he was also telling crazy, crazy stories uh, how in the beginning phase of uh, of ISKCON how, how they dealt with each other, you know, like people who became very fast in, in great managerial roles in the ISKCON, like, uh, uh, like yeah, uh, who uh, definitely were not like uh, pure devotees, you know, and uh, he struggled so much yeah, what he had for struggles, for example, he was with his wife and they had children and uh, the temple president during that time, he became an initiating guru and Pritya Prabhu was just re revealing his mind to him that because he knows him personally and he knows what he all does, he just wanted to share him that he can take him that seriously as a, as a guru and immediately he flipped out and he said, what, who are you to tell me? And he kicked him out of the temple in the middle of the night. He was alone with his child and they had no money, nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> things like this, crazy things he was experiencing. And uh, this is so much. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, sometimes this is also the present and it shows that... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Prabhu. You want a picture? No picture. Okay. Yeah, but. Definitely, Prabhu, as you say it, he said it brought him so much deeper to Krishna, so much more uh, trust and uh, um, also confidence in the process. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, like uh, uh, he realized, he told me personally, and I also realized sitting on the toilet, vomiting and passing stool, this is just because of my own sinful reactions. Yeah, this is my karma. Uh, and uh, yeah, we also hear in the scriptures that uh, Vaishnavas should see everything that is happening as the mercy of the Lord. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. And these are the situations probably where we learn the most when we overcome. Yeah. Yeah. Something more to add, something more to ask. I mean, it's already really late. I think we stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki. Jai. Gauda Bhaktarinda Ki. His Holiness Kadamba Kanana Swami Ki. Please come. We have so nice pictures here for you to share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is from Srila Prabhupada's uh, house. Very nice pictures of Srila Prabhupada. I think here everyone won, and here you can even take two or three. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but it will last forever. I think three is okay, and the others. <laughs>
Das ist von da drin. Da ist der Gober dann hier drin. Ich habe neu gemacht. Ja, so. Ja. Möchtest du noch mehr anschauen? Ja, das ist ja interessant und der hat so an Just at the beginning of my Christian consciousness, uh, we had like a three vans from different places made like a Harinam Sankitan tour so together. And one Mataji uh, presented me also like a <laughs> A laminated picture of Krishna Kaliya, and I still have it in my Bhagavatam when I read. So it's a nice memory, and it's a nice connection. I meditate upon the Lila. Ein Freund von mir hat ein Lied gemacht über Krishna und hat das als, 